Hello everyone out in YouTube land and people watching in the stream. It's Bobo the Vulture and it's time for more... Oh my gosh, are you seeing... Hey, you're seeing my cursor when it's over here. I didn't know that was happening. Hey look, Lethal Feline has a lightning bolt. It goes... Anyways, uh, this is Let's Play Tecmo Super Bowl. <laughs> Oh my god, it says. That's a smiley face. I should just keep this cursor over here all the time. That would be really irritating, actually. Let me not do that at all. Um, so, uh, folks that are just joining us, uh, last time, let's go ahead and have a look here, just so that we can see our little star. Last time, we... Uh, pretty handily handed the Indianapolis Colts their asses. Of course, they are at the bottom of our division, so they should have been easy prey. But we managed to clinch the AFC East, which uh, guarantees us a berth in the playoffs. So... I imagine we will still possibly see the Dolphins there, because they have a pretty good record. Player's hand pointing crop for the touchdown picture. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a fun cursor, but uh, right now, we're going to head out to the Motor City, to uh, what is now Ford Field, and back then was something else, if people are bored and want to Wikipedia things. It's the final week of the regular season, guys. We are facing the Lions, and it doesn't really matter how this game goes. We could pretty much just slack off this game if we wanted to, because we are already in the playoffs. But, uh, oh, and you're seeing our, uh, our away jerseys here. Yes, I got the crazy dive. I tell you what I'm actually going to do, Miss B. I'm going to, uh... I'm going to do my darndest to um, get the hang of this nose tackle cheese. Uh, nope, that was not it. There is a technique, and I've heard of it, but since it got reinforced to me in the chat that it is definitely a thing, I need to, uh, need to try and work out... Yeah, I could try padding stats. Basically, I'm, I'm on defense. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm basically just gonna try and workshop this whole. Uh... Gonna try and workshop this whole automatic sack. All right, you're not going to cover Don Beebe. I'm going to throw to Don Beebe. And he's not going to catch it anyway. Well, that's all right. You overthrew that one a little bit, Jim, but um, that can happen. It's all right. We pick ourselves up. We dust ourselves off. We start all over again. Andre Reed's looking pretty wide open. As long as nobody gets injured in this game, basically, I will consider it a success. Which I know is a great thing to say as I'm using the running back that's essentially the key to my offense on a play, right? Maybe the logical thing to do would be to throw this game, guys. But I kind of feel like I have a certain sense of pride and honor. I can't just do that, right? Speaking of pride and honor, I'm about to go back on defense, so I need to figure out this game exploit to uh, allow me to get sacks every time. Down. 
It's a moral quandary, I'll grant you. That is a that was a bomb right there. That would have been uh, real trouble if it had been uh, caught, but uh, Blue, 43. Blue, 43. I guess better lucky than good in this situation. You must fight the enemy for great pride, honor, and justice. Smiley face. One of these type of smiley faces. I don't know what you call those. Ah, oh, whoops. I was using my cursor. I didn't have a chance to pop back over and... Oh, well. Doesn't seem to have mattered. Oh, well, you're very nearly in his face, but no. Not quite. I didn't even get to grab the ball and they still piled onto me. Alright, Andre. Nobody's on you. Nice 46 yard gain. I'll accept that. Put that in a bag. Like this restore. Quick, run out of bounds, run out of bounds. Uh oh, time for the Seinfeld music. I mean, what's the deal with having to continue in second down? I don't know. You guys think it worked? Was it Seinfeldy? Oops. They got coverage on him before it was uh, time enough. Let's uh let's give Kenneth Davis a chance to run through here for some short gain. Well, they certainly saw that coming. Let's try a field goal. See if we can uh, practice our field goal game. Ah! Keep chickening out. Oh no! It's Seinfeld is back. That's a complete pass, but thankfully he uh, had to hop down to the ground to get it, so. Oh, another complete pass to Barry Sanders there. So if we could shut down Barry Sanders here, we could, uh... Perhaps that's what I should be doing right now. I should be trying to get Thurman Thomas, uh, number one in, in rushing yardage. Should be, uh, running him all day and, uh, defending against Bernie Sanders. Or not Bernie Sanders, my god. I spend too much time listening to political news. Dion. Just me or does Rodney Pete seem to be doing nothing but throwing away the ball right now? <laughs> Bernie was so athletic in his younger days. He's actually off the campaign trail this uh, this week for hernia surgery. Uh, 
That's <laughs> gonna have a hundred yards rushing today for Jim Kelly. Red twenty-four. Red twenty-four. Hey, hey, Bless you, my dear. Ah. I suppose I should be uh, thankful that they blocked it and did not uh, catch it out of the air. Because that is something, of course, they can do if they're so inclined. Oh, thank goodness you went out of bounds. Just a reminder, folks. Fumble, f fumble laws are still out there, and they're still a real and dangerous problem. Get it, Andre. First down. Apparently, everybody's heard so much talk about Don Beebe. They didn't realize he wasn't the only uh, weapon in the arsenal. So then they immediately go down to uh, defend Andre Reed, and what happens? Yeah. I am the worst at the kicking game. And yes, I can see basically what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to wait for the uh, arrow to be in the middle and then press the button. I can't take the pressure. Time to bring the fumble, please. <laughs> Something's about to go down. We've been too lucky. Hey, the fumble, th we just got a fumble. Christy's on a diet, that's all. Yeah. Christy's on a diet. He's not getting any he's not getting any to eat. Ooh. That might have been it. I might have this. Well, if I did it once. Nope. Hop back up too quickly. Late hits aplenty. And halftime. Hello, halftime hips. Talk about your butt musculature. As I know that you were on the uh, defeated dive play in the previous game. Ladies and gentlemen, Diana Ross! The chat has decided. <laughs> Diana Ross was big business back in the 90s. I believe she was one of uh, multiple... Um, she's one of... One of multiple musical artists you could get on a series of collector um, Taco Bell mugs. That's right, there she is again. And I never actually saw any of those mugs. Never actually went to Taco Bell to get any of those. I just remember the TV commercials. Because they talked about scorpions, Bill Biv DeVoe, Diana Ross, get them before they go, or something. That was... No, I think it was just scorpions, Bill Biv DeVoe, collect them all before they go, and Diana Ross, get free refills, something about that. Oh. Oh, what? What's this jargle here? What do we got here? We got some Polaroids. Let's take a look at the stats here, guys. 126 passing yards, which is pretty darn nice. 114 already for, for uh, Andre Reed. It was a picture of the mug. Oh man, there is a picture of the Diana Ross mug. Oh, that is... I desperately wish that that Taco Bell collector mug could be on the chat right now. Oh man. Hold on a minute, this may actually be worth... Uh... Let's 
I get a new window? Oh, no. It just plain old isn't appearing. Well, guys, we, we can't continue this game until we get... Uh, Bell. There we go. It's so beautiful. I want to thank everybody who made this uh, Diana Ross autographed Taco Bell mug possible. Everyone rush out to Taco Bell today. Yeah! Alright guys, let's get back to uh, playing the Detroit Lions here. <laughs> I wonder if that's how it originally looked, if it was sort of all weird and impressionistic like that, or if uh, parts of it have faded over the years. They are no longer taking any prisoners. Yeah, no, I, 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 I was for a moment there trying to look it up myself. Oh. Newman. I was trying to look it up myself there, and uh, I was getting roughly the same sort of a thing. <laughs> the football is Newman. Oh, I can't believe the football is here again. First down. Blue 48. Hut, hut. Really? You were on read and then you decided to not be on read? Wow, 20 bucks for a collectible Diane Ross mug, guys. Diana Ross. Taco Bell mug. That looks like some high quality plastic. <laughs> Anybody who wants to bid, Lethal's got you covered. Oh, one can only wonder what's gone into, out of, and all over that mug. Well, come on, guys. It's a mug. It was used for drinks. It was at one point in time probably used for Wild Cherry Pepsi. If they made Wild Cherry Pepsi back in the 90s, whenever that mug was made. Holy shit, it's from 1991. This is at peak Diana Ross time. She's appearing constantly in NFL halftime shows in Tecmo Super Bowl land. She's doing some Rock for Charity event. She is, she's, she's, she's on the, <laughs> she's on, uh, she's, she's on Taco Bell mugs. That's, this is amazing. 1991 certainly is a great time to be alive. Whichever member of my chat it was that uh, said they had just been born. Was that you, Ninja Foxmaster? All right, everybody's covered. Time for Jim Kelly to make some more running yards. I feel like Crystal Pepsi was over by 91, but I might be wrong. I feel like the edges of the decades tend to sort of blur a little bit, like things that you remember being in the late 80s, it turns out, actually happened in 90 or 91. Things that you had the impression took place in the late 70s actually happened 80, 81, that sort of thing. Yeah, Crystal Pepsi was not a thing for very long. It was probably it was probably even shorter lived than New Coke. To my recollection. 
it could be something uh, more miraculous and magical than that for sure could be 92 93 see yeah I, I, I think about it as a uh, oops Wow you should not have caught that Crystal Pepsi could definitely have, have flowed through that cup All right, Thurman, are you hungry, buddy? Not that much. Seen? No, I have not seen. Alright, this should be a chip shot, guys. Hey, Novia Soul. Alright, Steve Christie, check out the sky. That kick was a little too hard, but uh, what are you going to do? They'll take that as a touchback. It's probably still all right. Canuck Lucky. Trying to drink Crystal Pepsi is like the new cinnamon challenge. I... I don't understand that. Is, is it just like... Is it gross just because it is clearly soda that was manufactured like 15 years ago? Well, that wasn't exactly what I was hoping to get out of that. Crystal Pepsi? No, shoot to Mame. If you weren't there, you would totally miss it. It was out for probably less than a year. I never actually had Crystal Pepsi, so I suppose I'm a deprived youth. But uh, I never had Crystal Pepsi. Wow, Rodney Pete had some really crazy Jimmy legs going there. That was fast running. Hey, Arnold. And all these kiddos here. I don't remember Crystal Pepsi even being a thing. I remember the Super Bowl commercial for it, which I guess would have been in the Super Bowl that we will see in the next season of the Buffalo Bills because they said it was from, what, 92 to 93? So actually it might be the one after that. Um, it had uh, it had the uh, Sammy Hagar era Van Halen going. It was, it was a good commercial. It was talking about everything that was going on right now. Because it was using the song right now. That's right. Lethal's got it. I mean, even if you don't feel like you need to drink Crystal Pepsi, you can go back and look up that song. Right now is a good, good song. It's probably... Uh, I'm going to say it's probably the best Sammy Hagar era Van Halen that there is out there, right? What's a, what's a better known... Uh, Van Hagar tune than right now. Hey, there's no tomorrow. Right now, come on, it's everything. Yeah. Fifty-one fifty. Ooh, look who's not covered. Look who's not catching. Oh, you really think that's the best Van Halen song ever? Oh, yeah. Can't This Be Love? That one's awesome, too. Sweet. You know what? At the time, it was a huge thing, and I totally get it because, you know, the the sound of Van Halen with David Lee Roth as frontman is pretty iconic. But uh, Van Halen with Sammy Hagar, an entirely, I mean, 
also not, you know, not not an entirely different sound because obviously a lot of the backing band and everything else was still the same. But uh, man, Mormon Idol, Maiden, Judas Priest, Megadeth fan. Nothing wrong with that either. Judas Priest, one of the uh, one of the pioneers of the uh, metal genre. Get over there. Yeah. <sighs> there we go. There's a nice drumstick for uh the best song Sammy Hagar ever made was the was Winner Takes It All for the soundtrack of Over the Top. I do not know that one. I almost feel like you're not being serious. But I will have to now check it out. Now solo Sammy. Like I'm sure that he made songs other than I Can't Drive 55 as a solo artist. I just had never heard of any of them. Go on and run me up for one trying to find. I heard Van Halen a lot growing up because Dad was obsessed with them. Well, you know, it's not the worst band to be obsessed with. Honestly, Van Halen, I mean, they they have a pretty big catalog. So at least there's a lot of songs. Oh, I just missed. That's where I got all the music tastes from. Yeah, Duran Duran, another one. People tend to think of Duran Duran as this, like, really short-lived act, but they kept making music. All right, I got to hang on just a little bit. Now I'm diving too early. But I'm getting there. I'm starting to develop a uh, spidey sense for uh, how to sack. Uh, I d uh, dove too late there. That's right, Novia. You want this ball? You better take it from me. Take it from me, baby. Come on. Ah. Complete pass to Rodney Holman. Okay. I was convinced Duran Duran is her favorite band, even if she hasn't listened to them for 10 years. That's, you know, you can have a band that you really love or a musician. Like, my favorite song, I don't remember the last time I heard. I mean, it's a, it's an excerpt from a Wagner opera. <laughs> so, it's not one that, like, just comes on the radio. But, um... Ooh, I know, I'm such a fancy man. ALW? <laughs> Sir Lord ALW? <laughs> the Phantom shows up and phantomizes them. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting better at the cheese dives. I should have played as the uh, should have played as the Packers. I could do the cheese di cheese dive all day long. Ah, I gotta get my grunt meta working. Almost had it there. Perfect cheese dive. <laughs> Failed it. Red 24. Red 24. Hut, 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 hut. Yeah. Oh man. That's right. Packers gonna be pissed. <laughs> That's all right. They can still do plays like this, and I will not be able to get it. Effing, you've potentially made it possible for me to actually win the Super Bowl, because I know the AI is going to be cranked to the max. Ah, two... There you go. 
<laughs> do a dive, get up, do another dive. Alright, everybody's guarded. Just run it out. Gotta go to GameStop now. Oh, what's what's up at GameStop, man? Are you just working? Either way, I buy a Ninja Fox Master. <laughs> it's been real. There you go, Kenneth Davis. First down. Oh, game came out you forgot about. I wonder what it is. Also, I guess I won't take it personally that you're... Holy crap, I'm shaking off tackles left and right. I'm a badass! Yeah, okay. Didn't actually. Oh, Just Cause 3. I guess I'll try not to take it personally that you would rather play Just Cause 3 than watch me play Tecmo Super Bowl. Yo, oh, man, game's up. Clean it out before anybody knows. That's true, you're Ninja Fox Master. You're the master of all Ninja Foxes. I actually ended up not getting uh, many more uh, many more pass yards there. Not as dominant as it could have been. Oh man, it's true. I got uh, I got 52 yards, but I got 99 yards total. Do you guys do you guys know what that means? That means that I ran for 47 yards with Jim Kelly. Because he's the only other person, I think, who made forward yardage in the game running. <laughs> that means that Jim Kelly, I kept giving him the ball, not finding anybody, and just have him run to the side and try and make a few extra forward yards, and it kept working. All right. Gonna go ahead and hit game start, skip through the west of, to the west of the week, and after that we should be able to take a look at the uh, brackets, we should be able to look at everything um, for the end of the regular season. NFC Central, Minnesota Vikings, that Metrodome was talking about is apparently an open stadium. It wasn't at the time. San Francisco 49ers, they got in at the last minute. I could have sworn that they would be the Super Bowl guys I would face. Okay, so Pittsburgh made it in. So did Kansas City. So did uh, the Eagles. Green Bay Packers. This is music I don't think you hear anywhere else in the game. They're just sort of, they're automatically going through all these charts, so I can't even check it out. So we get a bye first week. We're going to have to do the divisional playoffs and then the NFC championship, or the AFC championship. It's at this point you start expecting the other teams to gang up to cripple your dudes, at least you would in any other game. I actually don't know whether or not injuries work in the offs in the uh, postseason. I know they don't in preseason games. If you're playing a preseason game, um, as opposed to a regular season game, uh, injuries are just off, switched off. I don't remember whether or not injuries occur in postseason. I certainly don't hope to see any. Let's look at the standings here, guys. Let's take a look at the playoff brackets. So, we have a bye in the first week because we clinched our uh, we clinched our division. 
So uh, we will be facing the victors of the Chiefs Chargers game. Um, but basically, we are two. We are we're two wins away from the Super Bowl. If I had to make my guesses, we would be facing the Chargers and then the Oilers. And on this side, maybe the Cowboys in the Super Bowl? Only player seven can save them now. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Let's uh, let's now take a look at the uh, team rankings. At the end of the regular season, who had the best offense in the NFL? It was the Cowboys, followed closely by the Oilers. So I would anticipate maybe facing the Oilers and the Cowboys during the playoff season, if we make it so far. What about pass yardage here? Yep, the Oilers dominate. And in rushing yard, yeah. So, honestly, the fact that the Cowboys have such a balanced offense as that and still come out top is uh, kind of concerning. At the end of the season, the Bills are easily the number one defense. Um, say about 900 yards above uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys have the number one offense in the NFL and the number two defense. They are going to be formidable. We really managed to improve our uh, rushing game in that last uh, matchup, even though I really wasn't running that much. Let's take a look at the NFL leaders. How are our passers? Kelly did not really improve his case in that last game, even though he did fine. Got a lot of yards. Don Beebe, wow. Don Beebe actually fell down to third in uh, receiving yards. To a freaking cowboy. Thurman Thomas. Ah, there we go. Due to the fact that we were facing the Detroit Lions and we were able to shut them down defensively, we managed to get Thurman Thomas the big plate. The number one rushing yard for the regular season. So, thumbs up all the way to Vernon Thurman. Thurman leading Thomas. Also leading in attempts. Probably not leading in yards per attempt. Probably not even close. Because he's a workman. He's out there getting it done. Thurman Campbell's chunky soup. He is not... Uh, oh, dang, I can't even remember the name of this friggin' actual quarterback. Bleh. Point of the sky like you believe. Yes. And it's this repetitive music. I can't I can't concentrate. Thurman Thomas, also the NFL's leading scorer. Ah, oh, we don't have anybody in the interception game. Really. Because we have too many guys in the sack game. Although, mm, Donovan McNabb. Thank you, Effing Controller. He is not Donovan McNabb. He could have been. I mean, I'm sure he has a mama. Um, I'm sure Thurman Thomas has a mama, um, who they or they could have pretended that he did for a commercial about chicken soup or beef and vegetable or whatever variety of soup. Hmm? Thurman Thomas? Yeah, Don McNabb. He did commercials for Chunky Soup with his mama. Yeah, Cox, unfortunately, is going to end the regular season number one in sacks because, uh... Well, partially because I ended up um, taking over our uh, nose tackle and practicing cheese dives. And so we were still getting a lot of sacks, but they were all coming at the hands of our nose tackle, not our uh, linebackers. Cox.
box will be desacked. Oh boy. And then punt returns, kick returns. We don't really have any dogs in this fight. Al Edwards, 12th in the league. That's respectable. It's not uh, spectacular. Kickoff returns. This is not a place where I excel. I generally speaking like to just... Yeah, 28. Fascinating something about these dick cheese moves. Oh boy, lethal. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's take a look at the schedule here. The schedule is just the playoff bracket. When we come back next time, we will probably see Dolphin Steelers, maybe Eagles Packers, Maybe Chief Chargers or Saints 49ers. Either way, we've got at least four games to auto skip through. It won't let us auto skip. You have to just. You don't have to watch the games, but you can't, like, skip game, skip game, skip game. You have to press game start for each one of these. So, uh. YouTubers out there, for the next, uh. For the next, uh. The next episode that you YouTubers will see, you are gonna see the start of the playoffs. That's exciting, right? I'm Boba the Vulture. This is Let's Play Tecmo Super Bowl. I want to thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see all of you next time. Bye for now.